Hi everyone! As you know, we've been learning all about butterflies and butterflies actually start out as caterpillars. So today we are going to be pinpoking some caterpillars so they look like this and pinpoking some leaves because the, leaf, the caterpillar is going to eat the leaf. We're going to put holes in the leaf and as the caterpillar eats the leaf, it's going to get bigger and bigger and then it's going to wrap itself in a chrysalis and magically come out as a butterfly. And we're going to do some Japanese art of paper folding called origami to make our butterflies. Okay, let's get started with our next project. In your package, you'll receive a bag that will look like this with all the items that you need. The first thing we're going to do is take the items out and put them in front of you. You might decide that you'll work on it one day and then work on it another day. It doesn't have to be done all in the same day. You might choose to cut out your caterpillar or you can pin poke your caterpillar. And when you pin poke, you hold the pin poker with your thumb and two fingers and you go around the black line until you get your shape out. Or you can use scissors and do the same thing. Now I'm going to take my caterpillar out. And now I have a caterpillar and the caterpillar is very hungry. So he's going to eat a leaf and you can either cut your leaf or you can pin poke it on the line. Okay. And then carefully tear the paper along the line that you pin poked and there is your leaf. So now to show that the caterpillar has been hungry and eaten the leaf, we're going to take a hole puncher and the hole puncher works by squeezing it. So we're just going to make some holes in our leaf anywhere you would like. Just to show that our caterpillar has been hungry eating the leaf and getting bigger and bigger. And as the caterpillar grows bigger and bigger, it then wraps itself in a chrysalis and it stays there. And inside the chrysalis, it changes into a butterfly. Now we're going to make our butterfly. This butterfly is made by folding the paper and the technique is called origami. Origami is a Japanese word for paper folding. When you do a butterfly, you start in the corner and you fold it up, you press hard and seal it, then you turn it over and you fold it again, always pressing hard and sealing the paper so that it stays folded. Then you fold it again, you turn it over, fold it again, I'm using my muscles and pressing very hard so that the paper stays folded. Now I have done one of the butterfly's wings. Now I'll do the same with the orange paper. Watch carefully before you begin.
turn it over, press hard, and then one more time, turn it over and press hard. Now I have two wings and my antennas. Now I'm going to fold the wing in half like that. Fold the other wing in half. So my two wings look like this. Now I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and straighten it out. Wrap the pipe cleaner around the wings. I'm going to twist it two times so it stays tight. And then I'm going to make my antennas. The antennas twirl around like this. They're kind of like a curly cue. Pipe cleaners are fun. They can twist how you want them to. Make sure this is tight. And then open my butterfly's wings. And now I have a beautiful butterfly. So my caterpillar will eat through the leaf into the chrysalis and turn into a beautiful butterfly. Okay friends, have fun making origami butterflies.